hi guys welcome back to my channel so in this video we will see how we can create uh, a subdomain in VPS so this is the continuation of the series that we were doing web hosting on unmanaged VPS so we have done lot of videos in the series you can go through those videos and then come back to this particular video so that it will be helpful for you Subdomain is basically altogether a different website, but uh, it is attached to the main domain. So what I mean by that? So for example, I have a website called tvshowsinfo.xyz. So this is the main domain. Now, if I want to access this with uh, subdomain dot tvshowsinfo.xyz, then this will be called as a subdomain. Now, why we need to create subdomain? So one example would be, for example, if you have the main website and if you want to create a blog section of this, then you can create a subdomain like uh, blog.tvshowsinfo.xyz. All the blog related post, you will be posting it on this subdomain. Let's start and see how we can create a subdomain in VPS. So first of all, you'll have to log into the VPS. So in case if you are wondering what VPS I'm using, I'm using a Pi VPS. So they have very powerful VPS as well as a very medium level of powerful VPS. So based on your requirement, you can uh, purchase a plan. So I will give the link in the description and uh, you can click on that and you can uh, complete the sign up process and uh, purchase it if you want to. Now once you have the vpn now you will have to go to the server manager and from server manager you will have to go to tools and then internet information service manager once you come to this page just expand this and you will be able to see a section called sites so basically all the sites will be listed under this and uh, here we have the website called uh, TV shows info. Now we are going to create a subdomain of it. So for that, what we have to do, just click on site and uh, right click on it and create add website. Site name here would be subdomain. I will give uh, for the clarity purpose. Now physical path, you will have to browse it and uh, go to local disk and init pub and then uh, www root and uh, under this www root you will have to create another folder and uh, that folder will hold all of your files which are related to the subdomain so let me just uh, right click on it and create a new folder and uh, we will name it as a subdomain so you can see that under this www root we have a folder called tv shows info which holds all the files of our main domain and inside that uh, we have another folder called uh, subdomain which will hold all the file of our subdomain website now click on this and click on ok and uh, now select uh, binding it will be https and uh, select the same ip port number give it as same port 80 and uh, now you will have to give the subdomain name now give the subdomain name like uh, subdomain dot tv shows info dot xyz so basically if your main domain is something else then you'll have to give it uh, your parent domain name here now just click on uh, ok and you will be able to see the subdomain here now what you have to do just right click on it and click on explore so we will have to create some files inside this subdomain so for example if you are creating wordpress then you'll have to copy the wordpress files over here and in another video i have shown how to create uh, the wordpress website in the main domain so similar steps you will have to use it now in this case what i will do i will just uh, create a index.html file so let me open a notepad and i will just simply give only one line html code that is h1 tag and uh, it will be h1 tag and now we will mention the hello world this is a sub domain and we will save it now while saving it 
make sure that you are selecting the correct path which is local disk c drive init pub and uh, www root and inside this you have the subdomain and uh, bottom click as save as type all files and uh, index.html so it should be on us under subdomain so the name would be index index.html and click on save and you can close this file also and you will be able to see the index.html file here now what we have to do if you browse it it will not be accessible because we have the parent domain and that domain is hosted on another domain name provider which is called namecheap so what you have to do we'll have to go to the namecheap and uh, select the domain name click on manage in your case it may be any other domain provider but similar steps you will have to perform there as well and uh, here advanced section and then go a little bit down and add new record now a record will have to select a record here then host will have to give as subdomain and then ip address will have to give the ip address of the vps now ttl value i am just keeping it as uh, one minute so that uh, the reflection will happen uh, pretty much uh, quickly now if your subdomain name is different for example blog then you'll have to type blog here now this part is done now we can go back to the vps and uh, server manager and from server manager we can try restart the subdomain and also we can uh, restart the parent domain as well by clicking this uh, option restart now if we'll go back to the internet explorer and if we'll hit enter the website is ready so we can see hello world this is a subdomain so sometimes the reflection may be a little bit uh, take time so wait for 15 to 20 minutes or at least for half an hour and then try to refresh this page and you should be able to see the domain remember this website is only for demo purpose for a full-fledged website you will have to put a lot of file in the path where your subdomain is hosted that's all for this video if you have any question then put your question on comment section and i will try to help you out don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever I publish new videos, you will get notification immediately.